you, timekeeper. Um, and to that same injury list note, we got to add the young, uh, the young dude on the Cowie, Austin Forkner, for what seems like the 10th time going down in practice, knocking himself out of championship contention at this point in a series that's so short. Brad, I'll start with you. What does this mean for Sexton moving forward? Is, is this super Porker. detrimental to his career? Can he rebound from this and still have a good season? Or can we kind of write this guy off as I don't really think he's going to be anything more than the guy that gets hurt? You do mean Forkner, though, right? Forkner, yeah. Did I say Forkner? Yes. You said Sexton when you're like. Oh, so sorry, sorry. Yeah. So yeah. It's all good. Moving, moving I thought, I thought maybe now. you were on repeat. Um, uh, the, the, the CD was skipping or something like that. Wow, I just did myself CDs. Um, <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, this is not an MP3, people. But um, super unfortunate to see, see Austin Forkner go down. He's extremely talented. Uh, I think he's been known and, and has shown a tendency to have spontaneous deviation. Where, and, and every time that happens, he, he tends to get injured. The guy is clearly made out of fucking glass. And when he hits the ground, he breaks. Yeah. Um, whether and like, it's because he has that speed. He's loose. He's fast on the motorcycle. He runs with all kinds of confidence. Um, but the the reality is, and there was another guy that used to go really fast with the number two fifty nine on his bike. When he hit the ground, you're doing it at a very high rate of speed. I don't even care if you're made out of concrete. Things are going to go wrong. And um, unfortunately, he hasn't been able to put a full Supercross season together. Even his rookie campaign, he ends up going down on the whoops and, and injuring himself. Um, it's a comedy of errors that has basically equaled out to uh, us again checking for our wallets, robbed of, of the talent that is Austin Forkner. Um, I don't know, it, it, between him losing this season or like or Justin Herbert getting his way with his chick for a couple of weeks there. Oh. Like, it's just, no, like, no one, no, oh. things are not going Austin Forkner's way right now. Uh, oh. If you don't know about that, go check out TMZ. And <laughs> In, in all seriousness, we have not yet gotten to see what a full season of healthy Austin Forkner looks like. When we see that, we're finally going to get um, we're, we're, we're finally going to get just like see the potential that's in there. But uh, until he finds a way to stay off the ground, we won't see it. I'm sorry for taking up two minutes and thirty seconds of that garbage. <laughs> Real quick, Manny, um, is this a maturity issue with him? Is this just a, a, fun, a technique issue? What's the problem with Forkner, man? I don't know. It's hard to read because it's like literally like when it happened, I remember telling you, I'm like, we've seen this movie before. Literally, I felt like it was yeah. literally like an exact replay happening again and again. And it's just kind of like, you know, the first two times you like you're gutted for him. And this time it's just like, come on, dude. Like, it's like, yeah. yeah, either his knee is on backwards. His wrist is doing a W. I think he did a shoulder, a spleen, uh, like everything. But then again, it's just like it's like you're not gonna tell him to slow down because no, you're he won't so like, way to do that. You can't ride at eight percent. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So it's just like I don't I don't know what the fix is for this. I, I have to I, I have to agree with you. Um, and.